My connection to home gardens is I used to come here when I was younger. I grew up in the neighborhood. I actually grew up on Concord Street, and I was here from kindergarten to sixth grade because they didn't have the middle school yet. So that's my connection. I'm a CSO at Riverside City College. What a CSO is, is a community service officer. I work with Garwood. He is a police officer on the campus. And what I do is I issue citations for parking enforcement. Growing up, the way that I avoided peer pressure was thinking about my future and thinking about, you know, my parents would be so mad if I did this. That's how I got through things. It's probably how a lot of kids get through things. So it's very important to set goals for yourself big and small because when you set small goals for yourself it just helps you reach the bigger goal so strive for something huge and you know as you're striving for that huge thing set smaller goals so that you could get to that huge thing you'd like to accomplish my name is daniel i am 24 years old i currently work with the riverside community college district district police as a community service officer um, the way I'm connected with Home Gardens Academy is that I attended Home Gardens Elementary um, between the years of 2000 and 2006. I currently work with uh, Garwood, who is a teacher here, but also a reserve officer at RCC. I'm also connected to uh, HGA by uh, Ms. Moreno. She was my fourth grade teacher. Um, I believe now she's uh, one of the admins here at HGA. One of the accomplishments that I am most proud of is uh, being the first in my family to go to college. Um, nobody in my family has ever done that and uh, it was a huge stepping stone for me to kind of break that, uh, that barrier from everyone in my family kind of going down the same path of being in a gang or doing drugs, so I'm pretty proud of that. One of the obstacles that I faced was uh, not having any transportation. I came from a pretty poor family so no one could really afford to buy me a car and I didn't really have a job either to buy a car so that was one of my difficult um, obstacles that I had to face and I kind of just would kind of wing it with getting a ride with everybody who would go to college and um, they, really, they really helped me out during that time so. Avoiding peer pressure, I think uh, everybody really has to dig deep and really find it within themselves to um, just say no. I mean you're gonna get that backlash from all the students and or your friends and um, they're probably going to tell you that you're lame, you're a loser, why don't you do what we're doing, but you really have to find it within you and find the courage and bravery to just say no to them and um, stand up for yourself. I think it's really important in choosing uh, really good friends because um, if your friends are influencing you to do bad things and uh, things you know that aren't probably the right thing to do, I think you really got to ask yourself, are they really my friends? Or do they really have my best interest? Um, so you really have to think about whether or not they're going to benefit you for the future and if they are telling you to do things that aren't you know legal or um, I think you really have to start deciding who you start hanging around with.